Hello cookbook friends and welcome. Let's look through Kin Thai. This is modern Thai recipes to cook at home. Let's, I love the cover. That was my big draw, I'm not gonna lie. So here is what this cookbook looks like on the inside. There are a, quite a few photos, not as many as I would like. It would be nice to see a photo for everything, but that's okay. A lot of these are pretty common, like we have pad thai and that kind of thing. But we have a lot of different dishes in here too that I'm really excited to try out. So, and everything is really colorful and fun. So here's our table of contents here. It's divided into pretty much the same as you would see in most Thai cookbooks, curries, uh, fried rices, salads, grilled, etc. So here we go. Um, I think in the very beginning we have different uh, staples and defining what food looks like in different regions in Thailand. So that's really nice um, because they do taste different. Also, our author has, inf I mean, they're British as well. So there is some British influence. Um, and then here we have different techniques and ways of uh, approaching the food itself. Here's our ingredients. Beautiful photo. Love it. Here we go. So here we have a fried egg salad. You can see the very beginning here where this uh, dish actually originates from. And then here we have our ingredient list and our directions right up here. Pretty simple and standard. I'm not seeing so far any tips, any substitutes, that kind of thing. So if you are vegetarian, vegan, this might not be the book for you. Here we have a green apple and crispy dried anchovy salad. That looks good. This is a beef tongue with grilled chili relish. And you can see that most of these chapters, there's different colors associated with each chapter. So that makes it a lot easier to navigate because you're like, oh, let's go to the purple one. That's where all of the salads are. I don't know if that's where actually all the salads are. Here we have a grilled beef ribeye with waterfall salad. Ooh, that looks pretty. Different photos here. And you can see on there's a text on the bottom, so you can actually, you know, as you flip through this, you'll be able to tell, oh, hey, I really enjoy this kind of dish. I wanna try it. So here we have whole salt crusted sea bass. Let's go to relishes. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. And you can see the, the photos are really stunning. A lot of them are kind of table setting. You can see what kind of sides and things go with each other. Here, I think we're in a soup, our soup section now. Coconut and galangal soup of wild mushrooms. I don't think this, this might be a variation of Tom Ka, but I don't think it quite is. Just different, slightly different ingredients. Here we have a turmeric and par partridge soup. Shiitake mushroom and Thai basil soup with tapioca pearls. Ooh, interesting, okay. Next we have, this is a Puckettown um, black pepper pork. That looks good. Moving a little forward here, more beautiful photos of different dishes, main courses you can have. This is a white bait in fish sauce caramel. Stir fried minced beef with holy basil. We have that, this dish actually quite often, but we usually use uh, chicken, like ground chicken instead. This is a red fire greens with yellow soybean sauce. Dry red curry with, oh, of crispy salmon. I love how colorful these dishes look. They're very vibrant. There's a lot of green, red, yellow. So it just feels, I don't know, just really uplifting, perfect. So here we have hot turmeric curry of turbo and pineapple. So elegant. Uh, sour orange sea bass curry. Let's see. This is a Burmese pork belly curry with pickled garlic. Oh, you can't go wrong here. We also have here, you can make your own different curry pastes which I think is really helpful because not everybody has access to just stand, you know, just a curry paste. You can actually make your own and it's not too hard, especially if you have a food processor. 
Here is all of our different curries. That looks really amazing. This is a fish, ba fish ball green curry. Green curry is probably my least favorite of the curries, but it's still pretty tasty and I would love to learn how to make my own. I always feel like it's not spicy enough and it's like too much coconut, so I kind of want to make my own so I can up the spice level and maybe even the flavors too. This looks really tasty. All right, so here's fruits with salty sweet chili dip. Oh, what? Where are we in a dessert section right now? Assorted flavor one bite royal snack. This is a oysters with nam jim sauce. That's a huge block of ice. I was like, what is that? Okay, so here we have sweets. Now we're in a sweet section. I'm very excited about this one. There's a lot of cool ones in here. So we have dough sticks with pandan custard and that's what this looks like. They're little donuts. I, I've always wanted to learn how to cook with pandan, so I'm kind of, I'm excited to check these out. Mango is sweet, sticky rice, classic staple. And we have a jasmine rice ice cream. What? That would be really good. I've never thought of doing that before. Fig leaf syrup iced fruits. This would be a cute little summer dish to have out if you were hosting, and it's not too hard. And then lastly, let's look at, oh no, are we out of desserts? We might be. So we do at the very end have different basics. Most of these do not have any photos, like some of them do. You can make your own different curry paste, like I said. But yeah, this is a pretty cool cookbook. I'm really excited to look through it. It has a lot of staples from all across Thailand, different regions. So check out Kin Thai. It's really fun and it's a modern take versus I don't know. Some people have a different method and also you can make your own curries and a lot of your basic stuff in here and it's really approachable. So Kin Thai, check it out. But if you want to check out more Thai cookbooks, we have a ton. Uh, just look at, at our playlist. And if you are looking for more cookbooks, make sure to stay tuned on our socials. All of those are listed down below at Cookbook Divas. And over here, subscribe and comment. Let us know what cookbook you guys want us to go through next. And thank you so much for watching.